Legacy Stadium, Katy Independent School District. Today we find ourselves here present at the 2024 I-10 shootout. I'm Alex Parra. Beside me, I bring in Miss Norma Morales. Norma, the sun's going down. Yes. It's getting a little bit cloudy. The, the stars are out. And Norma Morales is with us as well. Norma, what a great day. Another I-10 yeah. shootout. We've been doing this for a couple of years now, Norma. And it gets better and better every year. Every year. I mean, it's exciting with great competition, Alex. I mean, girls, high school, soccer from pretty much everywhere. That what Mike Wessel told us earlier. Um, but, yeah, a lot of great games today. No, and, and not only that, Alex, remember, it started since Thursday. So a lot of great games since Thursday. It's been a three-day tournament. For those of you that are just joining us here on the Fortis Nation, we've been covering the I-10 shootout for what now, Norma? Five, six, seven years? I'm going to say You seven. were young and beautiful when we started. That's all I know. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and, and so was I, apparently. Okay, at least yeah, I was yeah. young. You were let's let, you let's were put younger. it that yeah. way. But Norma, we come together to celebrate women's soccer. I like to still say girls' soccer. I think it's interchangeable. Someone I know will correct me very soon yeah. about what I should be saying. But it's a celebration of our sport, number one, Norma. Second, of teams coming together, coaches coming together, mm -hmm. referees coming together, organizers coming together. Let's talk about the first thing, which is the quality on the field. Norma, every year, as you mentioned, on the field quality keeps improving. Yeah, it does, Alex. I mean, and the thing is, since we started, like what you said, we had seen some teams that were top then that won, and then it kind of changed. So you can yeah. tell it's kind of revolving that, you know, competition's never always the same. It's always changing. So it's great. It keeps us on the, our toes in regards to coverage, and it's just great soccer. And absolutely. You know, yeah. you see the trends when there's a, a, a school. We watched yeah. a, an exciting uh, final uh, uh, at Road Stadium, it was Cedar Park right. against Tompkins. Tompkins, for many years, dominated this right, tournament, yeah. Norma. They lost today in a final, in a very tight final. It went to spot kicks, penalty kicks, whatever you prefer. But you see those cycles. And yeah. also, Norma, what I love seeing, uh, we spoke to Coach Chris Davis earlier and his uh, team from Morton Ranch. Young team, but still getting to a final. I'm excited to see where they are in two years. I'd love to see how, especially his team, because, yeah. you know, they only had three seniors, I believe that's what he said, and the rest were freshmen. I mean, this is just the beginning, I would say. If those girls stick together, of course, continue to play for the rest of their high school career, I think I'd be excited to see them, which I hope we are in, what, in another three years that we're here covering uh, their I game. hope we're still here on the planet, <laughs> right? The Great. way things are going. And it's not Norma Senior. It's a high school senior. <laughs> different kind of seniors <laughs> so you can know about that so that's the on the field product norma the mm -hmm. second part is your organization which i think is important let's start first with referees we love our referees norma we're running two referee systems yeah. most of the tournament which is difficult we were talking about that as a crew i said how do you run two referees for this quality and level and speed of the game it's not easy no it, it's not easy and that's the thing that i noticed with high school soccer lately that it's only been two refs yeah and that what just tells us what there there's a, a shortage. shortage there's a shortage which you know that we ask everyone you know the thing is go and get involved you know yeah. go take a course if you want to and that, it helps the sport because the thing is we need referees and if we don't have for referees then what we don't have the sport absolutely speaking of shortage norma your height keeps changing throughout the broadcast today. Yeah, actually, KDISD, uh, they offered me some coffee, and it's a growth <laughs> coffee, and it works great. You know, Norma, yeah. you can really pitch that somewhere. I know, I think yeah? I could. Yeah? I could, Normasgrowthcoffee.com. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going Maybe to I need to go with 4WD. Maybe they will help me and create that. 4WD, by right, the way. Right. Our favorite coffee Our favorite here. coffee, yes. So, Norma, that's, that's the referees. Let's talk about the organization of the tournament. As soon as the final whistle blows, and it'll be here in just a few minutes at Legacy Stadium, Norma, yeah. it's time to think about next year. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think once they kind of shut down this facility and the other facility roads, which is literally across from yeah. um, the parking lot, they're going to probably have to close books. But then <laughs> probably next week or two, it's like they recap and they're like, OK, let's be ready for the next. So it's a lot of work that goes into it. A lot of volunteers is what we talked about. But yet at the end of it, it's a great result with this with this um, event. It is. It is. And it's a big event. So, look, as, as we kind of wrap up here, you know, I want to thank everyone that's been involved, not only on our production side, but the coaches, the players, the sponsors, of course, that have gotten behind this tournament. And, and to really wish the future of this to continue to grow. Norma, I
I consider myself lucky to be a part of this. Uh, this really isn't about the money, it's about how can we help our sport grow, period. And that to me is a very special and important part of this. So I hope that we are here in two years and three years and beyond. So that really is my message of gratefulness and, and thanking the, the I-10 shootout uh, organizers, number one, and also thanking all of these teams, all of these players. And Norma, we've watched a final, a couple of finals today, the emotion and the moment. You talked about this, Norma. This is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the experience, right? You know, and I think these girls will talk about it years to come and even after the high school career they're going to say remember when we won the championship i-10 or remember because again it's three days of games yeah. and i think this is a great experience for all these girls to experience in their high, high school career it is absolutely so as, yeah. as we kind of wrap up from from uh, uh legacy stadium today here in katie independent school district norma what stands out to you as the legacy pun intended <laughs> that this tournament's leaving um like it is every i mean the thing is it, it's leaving you, it's the continuation of the sport, yeah. you know, especially women's sport as well. And then you'll see as these girls get older, they're going to come back and see the younger generation. And then the younger generation will go through the whole process. And I think that's what it is. It's just creating that experience, the emotions, everything, and just the memory for all of them. Absolutely. Yeah. Before we go, though, I do want to get a shot, if we can, Mr. Producer, of the fans the stadium and and look i i am grateful and happy to see the people that are here it's late right. in the evening a little bit chilly but we need to fill the stadium up more yeah. that to me would be one of the legacies and one of the wishes that i have for the future how can we possibly get more people in the stands i think if you're supporting women's sports and if you're supporting soccer in particular norma come out yeah. and show that <clears throat> show that support it's not even about the ticket pricing norma it's mm. make 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 your way today was a fantastic consistent day of soccer at a high level yeah. we need to support that we need to get the stadium filled. and this is a great opportunity those for the like i said younger generation you know if you've got like me compared to you, <laughs> if you younger girls that are like maybe you know seventh eighth grade six or fifth that you know that do play soccer this is great for them to come out and see the you know the competition of the sport of course yeah. that one day they're going to be out here with their high school competing so you, you make it a family weekend you know, I, I think it's, it's great. And again, I agree with you. We need these, all the stadium to be packed. And we'll you know? pledge something, Norma. Okay. If we're blessed again to be here next year doing this, if, 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 if uh, I don't know how we run a contest, Norma. I'm just throwing this out there. Okay. Someone can be part of at least one of our segments next year. Okay. A fan supporter of the I-10 shootout. What do you think? Yeah, I think it'd be and great. And we'll get, we'll get them a little rice <laughs> like Norma has. <laughs> It, it's not it's not a razor it's it's the it's growth, the growth coffee. coffee yes it's okay. the growth coffee growth coffee <laughs> all right so anyway before we go though i do want to thank all of our production crew norma they've been out here working actually now two days in a row we had another event yesterday yeah. very proud and grateful and thankful to all of them too let's see we see grant over there we see victor we see danny we see what's his name <laughs> i'm kidding andy who's worked really hard we appreciate all of you and norma that's just some of the people here behind the scenes salma has been working yeah. on this we have so many people that are a part of this. We're very grateful. Yeah, I know. Grateful. It was a lot of hard work. But again, being able to continue this, and I hope we're able to be out here next year. And well. do you want to say goodbye to all your staff? Because you have your hair people, your makeup, <laughs> makeup people. You yell at everybody. <laughs> She's very bossy. <laughs> Thanks for setting the tone on how I am uh, behind the scenes, but that's not how I am. That's you. Your trailer's cooking yeah. up some gourmet food, Norma. Maybe you'll invite us With in the there. With a private chef, yes. Norma, it's always a pleasure. Thank yeah, you very no, much. For sure. It's an honor. Yeah. Uh, so, on behalf of all of us here at the Portas Nation, ladies and gentlemen, we want to be um, saying goodbye. But first of all, thank you to the I 10 Shootout, the uh, board of directors, Mr. Mike Wessel. Uh, among many others right. who work very hard for this. So on behalf of all of us, one more I-10 shootout down this year, the 2024 edition. We're grateful, we're thankful, and we hope that you can continue supporting this wonderful sport of women's soccer. So on behalf of all of us, I'm Alex Parra. Thank you for joining us here on another edition of Deportes Nation. <laughs>